Good morning. Morning. It's another Disney vlog. It's Wednesday, the 2nd of February. And today is going to be a little bit of a chilled day for us. We're having a little midweek rest. Um, we are heading over to Target. We're going to do some shopping in Target because we do love a Target spree. So we're going to bring you along. And then we're going to be heading back to the hotel. I might even give a little tour of the All Star Music because we've never seen it before and we've not actually walked around the resort yet. <laughs> we've just been to the room in the main lobby. Um, so that's the plan. And then this evening we are heading over to Disney Springs because we've got tickets to watch the brand new Cirque du Soleil show, Drawn to Life. Drawn to life. Not the Nuba. Not the Nuba, which I love the Nuba, but Drawn to Life. So I'm excited for that. Obviously can't film, so can't bring you along to watch the show, but we obviously will tell you what, what it's like. Um, but we'll bring you along to Disney Springs at least. Um, so we need to get cracking, we need to get a taxi to Target and go shopping, so come with. Made it to Target and we're in the Disney clothes section. Hello, hello. Joe's found a t-shirt you like. That's quite, I like the colour. Yeah, So if you want some stuff that's like Disney themed, come to Target. There's loads of it. We have a whole Disney section. A lot of people get like the themed when you want to get matching t-shirts, don't they? You kind of get look. Little Mickey hoodie. There's quite a bit. We got a little something for the dogs. It's only eight dollars, and they know it's not a dog toy. And either way, they'll destroy it. But it's cute. It's obviously Valentine's Day coming up. You ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are you. <laughs> Joe's just having a rant about how many cards do you need? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's the end as well. Like that came out probably like one. That's because basically like you, you, you normally just get like that at Tesco. <laughs> yeah, normally you just get like this. <laughs> oh, we always need good stationery. Especially with working from home. You have to get all your own stationery now. <clears throat> oh, nice little pads. Joe's found the sweets. It's not good. It's not good. Shouldn't come here. No. Especially on the road. Shouldn't come to the sweet aisle. <laughs> Tootsie rolls. I mean, look at the size of that. Yeah, Although you have the sweets, and then you have the seeds. <laughs> oh, push pops. Okay. So, we just spent a lot of money in Target, didn't we? Good old Target. Um, I think I spent about $160, quite a lot of money, but it's a nice warm day, nice and sunny. So, let's uh, head back over to Ryan and see what he's up to. What are you doing? Did you sort a taxi? Yeah. How much did we spend, Ryan? How much did you spend, mate? $160, on oh, crap. I mean, I even bought some Cadbury's cream eggs because when you're in Florida and they sell cream eggs, they're probably going to melt in a minute. Bought some drugs as well. We like drugs, don't we, Ryan? Love drugs. Why have we still got a mask on? And we are back. We're home. We're home. A little trip to, an expensive trip, I should say, to Target. For Joe, not for me. <laughs> but we did buy a few little bits, so we'll just give you a little bit of a an idea so oh. so I got some crisps 
cheesy treat cheesy cheetos and some cheesy doritos there's a theme cheese got me some sweet baby rays now you can get i think it's the honey one in tesco but you can't get the hickory and brown sugar one which is what i really like so i've got some of that and then I got some things for the doggies because I've missed the doggies and I feel bad that I've left them. So we got them some toys. So this was the Mickey that we showed you earlier. It's not a dog toy. So don't hate on me, but it's still a Mickey toy and they'll still have fun playing with it. Um, we got some of the Kong balls because they love playing with that. Peggy especially. I just saw Kermit. It's not Kermit, but I just thought they'll love playing tug and ripping that apart. And I love that. Though. Yeah. And then I thought as a little treat, they got some cookies. So it's dog cookies. So yes, it's got chocolate chip, but it's carob flavored chips. So all safe and okay for dogs. So th that was what I got, you know, something for the dogs and some crisps and some barbecue sauce. Joe? What did you get? So this is what Joe got. This is it's fine. what Joe right, got. I'll go through. So this is for my team who I work with, okay? So they're not for me. This is for my manager as well, so she has to have something. So again, not for me. Makeup. That's for my teammate. Again, not for me. He's lying. All this is for him. Really? Even the makeup. No. Some Reese's miniature cups from my brother and his girlfriend. Some peanut butter M&M's from my sister and her boyfriend. Some Gilroy Daddy caramel squares from my mum and dad. Some Sour Patch Kids because my best friend Chantel loves these. Um, some mini ears from my niece. A little Mickey tea, whatever it's called. For my brother, uh, my nephew. Nephew. Yeah. Um, the M and M's for my aunt and uncle. And um, yeah, it's, that, that's that's for me. So, so this is for so you. So it's not that much. I got some raspberry, some milk, some caramels again, some chewing gums. I've got also some heartburn tablets because I get quite bad heartburn because I drink too much coke. Some allergy. Allergies. You hate people. Strawberry sour patch kids. Some more M and M's and some. Cabbage good eggs because they're American cabbage good eggs and they are full on American cabbage good eggs. I just want to see if they taste the same. Done. See, it's not that much for me. Mm -hmm. It's quite a bit. But a lot of chocolate. The thing is, it wouldn't be so much for him if that was the last thing he was going to buy this trip, but it won't be. Might eat some more MMs. Oh, so you've got another little mini bag of MMs for himself. Yeah, these are to go. So they're, they're to go. They're to go. Yeah, I got myself a cherry cake with some M&M's and I would do these in England, but they're, they're really rubbish in England. I'm just looking at a little dog outside. Oh, does he want to play with the doggy toys? He would. Oh, there's a doggy. Oh, there's a little doggy. Oh. A little doggy. Oh. Cute. So yeah, got some Lunchables. Pizza and just ham and cheese. Because we won't be up, we're not having lunch in an hour. So yeah, so we spent quite a bit at Target getting some little bits and bobs. Um, we were due to go over to Magic Kingdom, but we're being lazy and we're like, we want to kind of have a day away from the parks today. So instead we're going to go and eat at the hotel, have lunch there and then have a chill and then head over to Disney Springs for Cirque du Soleil. So let's go and get some food at the All Star Music restaurant. So we got some lunch. What did you get, Joe? You've been healthy. Um, sort of healthy. I made it covered in vinegar and sauce, so I'm eating <laughs> with my mouth open. It does look good though. I went for just a chicken salad. It does look good. And some Doritos. And some Doritos, yeah. And we also went for the 50th anniversary raspberry cheesecake but I'll show that in a minute once we get it out. Um, I tried to fill out the option. 
some crisps, chips. But I thought, oh. And half a turkey. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a turkey sandwich and I have sorted trying to eat this. But, look. Look how big that is. Like, I literally can not fit that in my mouth. Like, I'm sure you can. That's how much turkey there is. Sorry. Uh, there is loads. But I've had a little bite of it and it's very tasty. So we're going to eat some lunch and then we're going to have a little wonder. What, it's nice and warm outside. So we're going to have a little wonder around the resort. Um, but we're going to eat our lunch. And then when we get to the dessert, we'll show you what it looks like in a bit. So here you are. The 50th anniversary raspberry almond cheesecake with sprinkles. Looks good. Does it taste good? That's the question. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm going to cut through this because I don't know what it's going to be like inside. Oh, it is literally just mousse. <clears throat> oh no, it's cheesecake. I thought it was a mousse. No, it's cheesecake. But it looks like a mousse, but it's cheesecake. Let's, let's try it. So, raspberry mousse cheesecake, whatever you want to call it, was okay. It was lovely. Joe liked it. Um, we're sat in the restaurant a bit, being lazy. Not wanting to move. My feet hurt. And a little food came at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. But we're going to walk it off. Um, the plan is... There is no plan. That's the plan. plan um, is there is no plan. Yeah, we're just going to take it steady. We do want to walk around the resort though. We've not walked around at all. So we've not even seen like all the different decor that you have here. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then if we ever choose to come and stay here again, we can maybe have a better idea of what rooms we kind of would like to stay in. We did book a preferred room, which meant we were in one of the blocks closest to the one pool. Ten, isn't it? It's, it's Calypso ten. blocks one in ten. But is it worth it? Is it worth having a preferred room? I don't know. It might not be in music. In sports, it definitely is. But we'll, we'll see. But um, the block dependent on sports, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so let's uh, get up and walk around the resort. Joe's filling up his coke. Wait for next refill. Wait for next refill, greedy. There we go. Tasty Coca Cola. Wait for next refill. Stop being greedy. No, I'm the greedy one. Put my lid on. Yeah, so your Coke, your Diet Coke, Sprite, Powerade, Minute Maid, Lemonade, Fanta Orange, Coke Zero, Coke Cherry, Hot Chocolate. Love the hot chocolate. Some Joffrey's coffee. Condiments, Joseph? Condiments? No, you're good. Do you want to pick up a pizza? No. So yeah, these are the different food halls that you have. So you get your pizzas, your pastas, your burgers, if you want a little bit more of a tastier option meal, you have that, you have your desserts, you have it all. So that's the food hall where we just were. Right opposite you've got your arcade. Which is pretty much empty. You can tell it's during the day and everyone's in the parks. Are you actually doing it? Huh? Yeah. I've got two dollars. What are you asking me for? You can give me a massage. <laughs> and then, who was underneath it? 
Joe Jonas. Joe Jonas. Joe Jonas. Don't know who that is. Oh, that's Chris yeah, Stefani. Chris Stefani. I didn't, sorry, I was looking at her, I was like, I don't know who yeah. she is, but yeah, Chris Stefani. So you can take a selfie under it. So Chris Stefani is literally stood like Pretty much, yeah. That's crazy. Small world. Small world. But yeah, so that's the reception area. We bypassed that because we did the digital room key. So we just went in toilets. I have Chris in them. <laughs> Maestro <laughs> Mickey. This is where we have to try not to buy things. Some Star Wars gear. So, these are cool. Brian really wants the Monopoly. So I think he should buy that before we go. These are cool as well. They're like, they look like the movie, uh, the video VCRs that we used to get. Some fun stuff, some dolls. They're cool. A good selection as well. But they have literally got them all. You know, yeah. What's Candyland? That looks amazing. Disney, Disney, yeah. Battleships, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I do love this puzzle. This puzzle is amazing. Yeah. How much is it? Probably like twenty, thirty dollars. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five between twenty and thirty dollars. Like I said. So. Carry on walking around. Um, that's cute. Good old Grogu. Huh? NBA, obviously NBA yeah. experience closed down, so all the. All these I'd things. imagine would have been in sports there, wouldn't they? Because I do love these little mini spirit jerseys as well. These are so cute. So cute. I've got one like that already. It looks quite purple in this video, but it's actually blue. This is the pool area. Is it the Three Amigos, isn't it? Is it the Three Amigos? Where? With the fountains in the middle of the pool. Three Caballeros. Three Caballeros. Three Caballeros. Yeah. Not too busy at the moment, which is good. These are, I'll show you in a second, but this is where. We're currently here. Yeah. That's what it says, you are here. And then our room is here yeah. by number 10. Yeah, and then just on the end. this block and this block our preferred rooms. are preferred rooms. So if you're booking a preferred room, you will be in a room in this block. So it doesn't mean you're going to be here on the front by the pool. You could Unless be Unless you call up back. and specifically request maybe. It, yeah. You but could get it. It depends on how busy the, the resort is. is. But there you go. Because no, you, you imagine being here. That's a track. Like you, you would just never bother even going there, would you? No. Why? That yeah. is um, definitely. But we'll um, venture through. I do. We'll make our way around. Go all the way around here. Yeah. We're gonna go we'll all, all the around. way around. And see. And see what is in each little bit. Singing spirits. If you fancy an alcoholic beverage, then you can um, get a cocktail from there. The usual cocktail prices in Disney are like between, I'd say, is a minimum fifteen dollars plus tax. So bear that in mind if you want to have a drink. But we're now coming up to block ten of the Calypso, and. The um, theme is like maracas. See, there's my giant maracas. Is that maracas or is that calypso? That's maracas. What's calypso? Calypso is just the like you don't know. style of music. <laughs> calypso music. Okay, yeah, calypso. yeah. But yeah, so you can. Wow. I'm guessing this is like the jazz section. Yeah. Hence why there's a giant jazz and sax on the side of the building. The drum kit I can see coming up. 
Hey, that goes straight into the pool just there as well. Yeah, that yeah, goes in the pool that side. One of these isn't too bad either. No, so, so that's where we were stood over the front there when we were looking at the map. But I'd say you on the front and you're here. It's yeah. no different from being in a preferred room around the back. No, exactly. So actually, blocks nine and two aren't that bad. No, the downside is you can't really pick a room. If you could pick a room and you could pick a block, that would be amazing. Be amazing but that would be a good service that Disney could do, is like pick your own rooms. You're, not, you're just not guaranteed a block, other than if you pay for a preferred room. So, nice little fountain feature in the middle. Yeah, it's cool. Nice and relaxing. Yeah, they don't have any of the sports. No. That's cool. Then turn it off like that. Yeah, I reckon they do. It'd be, no it'd be noisy otherwise, wouldn't it? <laughs> but the uh, main feature, although we had the maracas on, on our block, on this block, you've got drum kit. The jazz in. That's cool. Disney's all star jazz band. Oh dear, Joe spotted a lizard. Hello, mate. Hello. He's cool. Yeah, so you've got another pool area here. It's a smaller pool, but all the All Stars resorts have two pools. One for the front of the, pool, of the resort and one for the back of the resort. So this is the, the kind of the rock and roll section. So you got your cool. guitars, your old kind of 50s, 60s cars, a jukebox. That's sports. Sports is just over, yeah. Well them. Um, but no, it's cool. I think this looks like it could do with a little bit of a paint job because it's been it's faded in the sun. Or it's supposed to look like that. I don't know. Mm. It does look faded. Yeah. Do I know? Huh? I'm pretty sure it's a traveler. The Chevrolet. Oh, Chevrolet. Yeah. And then they've done it so that the road is the grass. <laughs> it's quite cool. You've got a crossing in the middle, which is meant to be, I'm assuming, a little bit like Abbey Road with the, with the Beatles, maybe? The rock and roll era. But no, this is cool. One thing you do notice, you know when it's February in Disney, especially in the all-star resorts, um, because it gets full of cheerleading groups. Um, so I think they must be arriving today maybe, but they um, they are Definitely here in abundance. In their numbers. When you're in the parks, you always notice them because they've always got their like backpacks on, their identical backpacks. So, but yeah. So this is All Star Sports across the other side. So this was where we stayed. 2019, September, August, yeah. September 2019. We were in that block over there. Um, so where that spalding to the left was where we used to come out. We used to park along here. But then we moved rooms. Then we moved rooms. A few days in, we moved rooms. We moved rooms to um, preferred room. The best room we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. But yes, yeah, so that's how close it is to, to sports, which is currently closed at the moment. Oh yeah, it's all thick getting off as well. Yeah, so you can't get in there. So this is now the country fair. You your banjos and your violins and your, your cowboy boots. This is right at the back. Right, this is literally right at the back of the resort. It is cool though. Good theme, man. Yeah. It's just nice. very, very far out. So we're in the Broadway area. This is meant to be like a park. What are these? That is, well, it's like jazz hands and, you know. Oh, yeah, so yeah. what some of the cheerleading groups doing their routines. Bit of jazz hands. So 
so you've got Frozen, which isn't on Broadway anymore since Covid. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, you can see Aladdin and Lion King, Mary Poppins, and then this side, Aladdin, Lion King, Newsies. That is cool. And yeah, now we're back in the room. Hotel tour done. I like it. It's, a, it's simple, it's funky, great for kids because all the theming. And cheerleaders. And cheerleaders. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of cheerleaders. Um, but yeah, you know, it's one of those. I've said before, me and Joe look at it as you're only in your room to sleep yeah. because ultimately you're at the parks. That's what you're here for. So. Yes, you could splash out and spend more to stay in a different hotel and there may be other benefits you get, closer transportation and stuff, but we just think the value of the value resorts just tick the box for what we need and it works for us. So there you go, that was all Star of Music. So we are all ready to head to Disney Springs for Cirque du Soleil. Can't wait. I'm excited. Joe's excited, aren't you, Joe? He's just eaten a handful of M and M's. M and M store as well. We get to go to the M and M store. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna head over to Disney Springs. The show starts at eight. Joe's going outside for some fresh air. Warm. It's, it's still warm. Well, cooler. So yeah, we are gonna head over there now. So we'll see you at Disney Springs. So we've made it to Cirque du Soleil. It's, it's time. Huge. It's massive. I forgot how big it actually. Yeah, I watched the new one here years ago. <laughs> it might have changed inside, I don't know, but. I know I went to the toilet in here a few years ago. <laughs> the toilet's around the corner there. Best rooms, that's right. I christened them as well. Yeah. So we need to get in there, get our seats, and watch the show. Um, Obviously, can't film, but we'll keep you updated. And I'll try and insert some clips from the actual official Drawn to Life um, promo that they've done so you can get an idea of what it is like. Uh, but yeah, can't wait, so excited. So, wow. That was amazing. That was unreal. If you've ever seen a Cirque du Soleil, then you'll kind of know what it's all about, but that was just amazing. The whole story, just, yeah, it was it crazy. Was Some of it, we were like, how is that even possible? Yeah. Like, you're there like, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. So, so I would you, like, on the edge of your seat moments, like, oh my God, please don't drop her. Like, yeah. Drop. Oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, it was good. Very, was very really talented good. people, I'd say. Mm. Um, if you're coming to Disney, then you have to watch that. Um, I'd highly recommend it. And so. I, to be honest, from the looks of all the seating, you can't get a bad seat. I no, mean, it's not a bad seat. There's not that many seats, so like there's no like right, right, right at the back. No. So like they're and they're tiny on stage. There's none of that. Like you get a good seat. Yeah. And it's not just the stage, it's all kind of around the stage. Oh, it's so all around. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, above you, around you. Yeah. It's just unreal. I, like, I, I like Lanuba, but I think this is better than, by far than Lanuba. So um, yeah, if, if you want to watch something entertaining, that's going to be like, wow, drawn to life. There you yeah. go, top tip. Good well story. done, Cirque du Soleil, you smashed it. I think we should pay the M&M store a visit. Let's see what more stuff we end up buying. So we're in the uh, m and store and as soon as you walk through it, all you can smell is M&M's. It's like, it smells so good. Pick a t-shirt, pick a color, any color. Oh, it smells so chocolatey. 
Yeah. You got one of those. Well, they're the red ones. Cool. Need the T-shirt with the mug. Like so much that you can get. You've got a little baby selection. Hi. <laughs> so cute. Have a sweet day. Look at the little socks. Oh, that is cool. Shot glasses. Milk chocolate bars. They are nice there. That's with the Rice Krispies in. Peanuts and almonds. That's a cool little blush. 1999. That's cool. Oh, the pugs would like this. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the pugs would like one? Yes. Yeah. They'd tear that apart. They would tear it apart. How about a big one? They'd sleep on that. Yeah, they'd sleep on that. I like that. $20. Oh, the same price? Yeah, that is not the same price. Oh, they'd like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Everything I see, I'm like, oh, do you think the dogs would like that? <laughs> and it's like human stuff. <laughs> I'm dog mad. Oh, I like the blue. I like the blue. It's cool. It does make me want to get some M&M's now though. That's a cool little tin. How much is this? $9.95. $10. That's a cool little tin. Oh, you got those separated in the colours. That would be yes. good for your um, OCD. Oh, that's like a little medication box. <laughs> <laughs> you can put them on Nature's Day when they go through don't take any <laughs> medication on a Sunday. <laughs> oh, that's good for uh, the dog scoops. Very good. Again, thinking of dog scoops. <laughs> What's this? Ice cream, Ice cream scoop? scoop. No, that's cool. <laughs> Buy a bottle. So these are... How much are these? Uh, you get, they're $9.95 on the right, you get 4 for 35 dollars. So that's $9.95, and so is that tin. Does that mean you're getting the same amount? It should tell you. 143... 146.3 grams. 224... 229... Right, so you're get getting... less in that than what you're doing now. Yeah. But at the same price. Same price. So you have that yeah. and that. Price. More chocolate in here. Because it's, it's the shape of a bowl. So, top tip: check the weight to make sure you're getting the most chocolate for your money. You can design your own M&Ms. Let's see. So, personalise your experience. Okay, let's do this. So, I designed some M&Ms. I'll, I'll show you when they're made, but I wanted the pugs on my M&M. So, $25 later, just for 20? Uh, 20. Not okay. 25, $20. Okay. And I, I, they, I thought they were cute. And um, back in the room, we got some M&Ms. We were in the M&M store last time we checked in. And we got some personalised M&Ms. So it's like a little silhouette, I don't know if you can see, of um, of the pugs, Daphne and Peg. That's cool. I'm not eating them though, they're for... Um... I, want, I want one of each colour. <laughs> you can't eat the dogs? Yes, I can. <sighs> so it's legal in some countries. <laughs> not this country, but that's cute. And Joe told me off already, but... That's $20. I bought a plush. But it's not for me, it's for the pugs. 
But they're like, they like things like this. They like M&Ms. I like things like that. Can I have it? No, you can buy yourself one. But yeah. No, I'd rather buy myself. Exactly. Old, shiny, hard plastic. Joe, while I was waiting for to be made, Joe decided to take a trip to the Lego store. Hmm. And lo and behold, he bought some Lego. Now, well, I don't know what's more your happy place, Disney or Lego. Lego store. It's more, Mar it's more Marvel Eternals. It's basically wait. This is ninety quid, yeah, in English. Ninety pounds. Ninety pounds, right? And that is sixty quid in English. So ninety and sixty is hundred and fifty. When actually, it only cost me a hundred and six if you buy it here. Bargain. So I technically saved myself like forty-five quid. Just on exactly. If you can spend twenty dollars on some chocolate that you won't actually allow when what you eat. And twenty dollars. Oh no, the 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 these these are worth it. These are M and M's. But you're not going to eat them. How much did you spend on sweets today? I'm going to eat them. <laughs> that ain't the point. And then <laughs> a plush toy, twenty twenty dollars. So you you've spent me. You just wasted forty dollars to do nothing with. To do everything with, to look at my baby girls. Our baby girls. Our baby girls. On, but I'm not going to eat my baby girls. And for, and look at their nice. and then their happy little faces when they're fighting over this, tearing it apart. Like rrr, that brings me joy. That's worth my forty dollars. Okay, well, building gives you here, gives you happy place. It, yeah. It brings me joy. Yeah. Just dust collector. That's that's what it is. It collects dust. But so. Again, plans change. Blaze closed at 10. Yeah. So we didn't get to go to Blaze. It's just one of those things. Um, but we're back at the hotel. It's quite late, actually. We had the best bus journey home ever. Shoot me. <laughs> we literally had the best journey going to Disney Springs. And didn't then... have a headache before I got on the bus. <laughs> However, coming off the bus, my head is pounding. So I mentioned earlier when we were doing a walk around the resort, um, all the cheerleading groups are here um, and we managed to get on a bus going to Disney Springs with a group of cheerleaders and on the way home, exactly the same. And yeah, they, they like to talk. And cheer. And yeah. I like, can do it. I can kind of... Be cope, aggressive. Be, be, be aggressive. <laughs> Be aggressive, <laughs> but basically, you, when we were going, it was you know what, seven o'clock. Okay, I get it. Coming home, they were so loud, and How can girls there was, have that much energy. I know there were kids on the oh bus, God. like tired, and you know, you just Trying kind of see, think there's a little girl crying, the mum's trying to settle her, and it's just like so. It's just trying to kind of you know keep things Consider. like, yeah. Be mindful of your surroundings, but hey, yep. you know, it is what it is. Um, we've survived. Survived another day. Um, tomorrow, or next week's vlog, whenever it comes out, it should be next week, um, we are heading to Hollywood Studios. We are hoping, all being well, to pay a, a little visit to Animal Kingdom. Um, we're gonna be going there a little bit later in the day as it starts to get dark so we can see the Tree of Life, the Beacon of Magic, because we haven't seen that yet. Um, get to see a bit of Pandora at night, which I love. Um, and then we'll be heading over to Epcot to watch Harmonious again. Um, it's literally gonna be a three park in one day. That's a busy day. That's a busy day. But we had a chill day today, so we're energised. We're buzzing after watching Cirque du Soleil, because that was amazing. So yeah, so tomorrow should be a good day, all going to plan. We'll wait and see what happens. Um, but that's pretty much it for today. It's been a chilled one, but we've still got to do a few little bits. But from me, 
It's adios. And it's... from Joe. It's cheerio. It's cheerio. Bye. Bye.